Hi everyone, today I'll be making vintage leather and sandalwood by Aromas. This fragrance is a 5% for cold process soap, but I usually use around 3%. In my bowl I have my hard and soft oils already melted down and they're sitting around 95 degrees Fahrenheit. My lye solution is around 98 degrees Fahrenheit and this is made up of goat's milk, distilled water and caustic soda. I use the same method as what I've placed in my previous video on goat's milk soap. The amounts will be slightly different though as today I'll be using a loaf mould. I'll just give this a light stick blend as I'll be dividing it up into three different containers for my colours. The majority of my soap I'll be using Red Desert Mica, I'll be using Wellington Mica and a bit of Titanium Dioxide. All of these micas are from my Mica Obsession. Vintage Leather and Sandalwood Fragrance from Aroma contains vanilla which can discolour your soap. Hopefully the Red Desert Mica will disguise this so I'm using quite a bit of that colour. I'm still going to give these a light stick blend as I don't want them to get too thick. I like to do a drop swirl pattern with a Wellington mica and the titanium dioxide. I'm just going to set my Wellington on titanium dioxide to the side while I add my fragrance to my main batch of Red Desert. Give this another light stick blend to incorporate the oils into the mixture. I'll be doing a layer of red desert on the bottom of my mould. Make sure you give your mould a good bang down in between. Now I'm going to do a light dusting of grandeur which is kind of a gold colour mica just to separate the two. My titanium dioxide I'll be placing into my wellington and just doing a light in the pot swirl. Now I'll do another dusting of grandeur and then place another layer of red desert on top of that.
just to make the top a little bit more interesting I'll be placing the yellow and white mixture just in a line I'm just going to use the back of a spoon and do a swirl pattern on top and then another light dusting of the grandeur. I'll give this a light spray with alcohol spray and then place it on the bench and we should be back in about 24 hours to unmould our soap. I've left my soap in the mould for around 30 hours and it's also gone through a gel phase. To release your soap from the silicon mould, just gently pull the sides and be careful of the corners as they still might be a little bit soft. I'm just going to get a ruler and mark one inch increments. This will just help me cut it when I put it into the mitre box. If you don't have a wire cutter, a mitre box is just as good. Just place your soap in and with a knife cut down and it makes quite nice slices. I like mitre boxes that have got a tall side, it just makes it a little bit easier to cut your soap. The drop swirl pattern in the middle is really quite lovely and the lines of gold mica that are through it, it's still got quite a nice scent to it. The soap will take around four to six weeks to cure. You can test your pH level beforehand to make sure that your soap's ready to use. I really hope you've enjoyed this video on how to make vintage leather and sandalwood cold process soap. Thanks for watching.